two biggest disappointing moments were actually two biggest profound moments of my career. When I was fired from the Bucks, yes, fired. I thought my NFL career was over with and I went on to play in the UFL, which is like a semi-pro league for the Omaha Nighthawks. I was embarrassed, I was scared. I didn't know where God was taking me, but I do remember him speaking to my heart saying, be a leader amongst men that you do not know. And so I did that every single day for one month in Omaha, Nebraska. And I learned everything that I needed to for the next chapter of my life, which lo and behold, the New York football giants called my UFL team, asked for my tape, they gave me not only a workout, but they brought me on their team and I played for two seasons back in the NFL for two years and ended up winning a Super Bowl. So though the UFL was one of the lowest, most disappointing times of my life, it was the absolute most profound moment of my life because I knew exactly how to handle myself when I got to New York, being a leader amongst men that I didn't know. I didn't know those guys. I wasn't drafted to New York. I knew exactly how to handle myself because of that disappointment being fired and going into the UFL. My second greatest disappointment was after my rookie year in the NFL with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I had 1,193 yards receiving, 80 catches, seven touchdowns, fifth best rookie performance in NFL history at the time. And then I never had another year quite like that. So throughout those six years with the Bucks, it was very disappointing. I went through a lot of ups and downs, a lot of challenges, self-sabotage at times. I went to drinking and smoking and doing all of those things, partying, trying to find a peace so that I could, you know, have some stability, but it never happened for me. So I had to stick to my roots that service that I talk about all the time, how to service your community. I had to serve my teammates in a different role. I was no longer a first round draft pick, big name guy. I was a bench player. And what was I gonna do? How was I gonna handle myself? I chose to be a leader as a bench player. I chose to run practice squad reps and humble myself. It was tough, it was embarrassing. But I knew that in the end, if I stayed close to God and found my purpose, that in the end, I would win. And when I got fired from the Bucks, I went on to do great things, played in the UFL, and then went on to win a Super Bowl. So my six years with the Bucks was after my rookie year, was the second most disappointing time, but absolutely one of the most profound moments because I still live by some of those lessons that I had to learn in that six year process. I actually wrote a book about it called Chasing My Rookie Year. So it's a metaphor for the chase. All of those lessons that I learned chasing, trying to get back to my rookie year are the things and the principles that I stand on today. The things that I give back to youth and adults and business groups and businessmen when I have an opportunity to speak. All of those lessons were so profound and I wouldn't have had them if it wasn't for disappointment. So to speak, we kind of made lemonade out of lemons.